racing last night. So we're just trying to get a ton up on the cruiser back to the shed at the moment because we only filled the main tank on the way out to roll racing yesterday and it was only just enough to get us home. So hopefully this can get us to the shed from home. Uh, and then we're gonna jump in another car and go down and pick up my new purchase, which I talked briefly about in the last episode. So because of the shape of this fuel tank and this thing, you can tell when it's getting real, real low on fuel because every time you go around was it right hand corners? Yeah, right hand. Just... The fuel obviously sloshes away from the pickup on the pump in the tank and the fuel pressure drops and the defi alarms at us. So, <laughs> and that's what it was doing when we were getting home last night. So it's very, very low on fuel. <laughs> there we go. Uh. <laughs> we're good. All right, we made it home guys and I actually managed to find my... <laughs> Tripping over shit. I actually managed to find my camera and it's still on wide angle from last night. I gotta change that. That's a bit better. So my apologies guys for roll racing not actually getting more content and actually using the draggy and everything else like I said I was going to, I was meant to. Um, just ended up out on track for most of the night. It always just gets so hectic. Like yeah. you have all these plans and then like we barely had time to, to eat. Yeah. They were out racing and it was just full, t full tilt all night. It's, it's one of those things I've really been trying to G up some people to come to these events with us and film for us instead of me having to worry about filming while we're there i think it would work out a lot better but um it's really hard all my friends don't want to go to anything so <laughs> it makes it difficult but anyway that's what i'm trying to work to this year towards this year is trying to get some people like to come to these events and film for us um but anyway it is just hard but anyway you went awesome it's back home could have driven it down there and back still didn't obviously because it wasn't proven but it definitely could have which is a great start so anyway on to today's adventure. Take big turbs for a drive because it's about a billion degrees today and the windows are tinted in this thing and it's got cold air con, so it'll do. Alrighty, well that didn't go as planned. Just got pulled up by the cops, just coming into town and turns out big turbs is unregistered and <laughs> apparently has been for quite some time, which Oops. we didn't know about uh, until today. So there you go. Thanks Queensland for removing our rego stickers so that we have no idea when car regos are due. It's all, big, it's all a big conspiracy, that's why they got rid of them, so that people forget and they can just charge them more for Yeah, forms. revenue raising. Anyway, yeah, that, revenue raising. that's very inconvenient and very annoying, so back to the workshop. The cops are pretty cool about it. Um, they gave us a permit to drive the car back to the workshop at least, so that we can park it up and get a different car and go down, so yay. Rightio, out of the Falcon, back into the Cruiser, because the Cruiser has working aircon. We just really need to work on getting these freaking windows tinted and because registered. oh yeah it's also registered that's important so anyway guys check if your rego is current because that was a pretty crappy way to find out that ours wasn't that sucks what a great day for it anyway onwards and upwards let's go right oh guys so i suppose how this all came about you all know that i'm all about my tough data i do really like the big tough data but as a daily driver um i don't know how to explain this there had to be like a line drawn i suppose where we're still not done with it. There's still more that I want to do with the car yet before I move it on, but there had to be a line drawn as to where we were gonna stop with it. Now, obviously you guys know it needs paint. Uh, it needs a lot of tidying up in the interior. And that's sort of where we drew, drew the line. Uh, as, as far as all the mechanical work and doing engine upgrades with the LS and stuff, with our position, with our business, we can get it done fairly cheap uh, without a huge inconvenience to us and stuff like that. But once you start looking at closed door resprays, that sort of colour, trying to get the interior sorted, that's when it starts to eat into a lot of time and a lot of resources that aren't in our specialty. Uh, so we sort of had to basically draw the line there, or I did anyway. Um, and to daily drive it at the moment, now that it's got the coilovers in it, once it's cammed, the aircon still doesn't work in it. Uh, it's leaking somewhere, we're pretty sure, in the cab that needs to be really a lot further investigated. Uh, it doesn't have a stereo, the stereo doesn't work and to replace that would be like a whole new, I don't know what you call them, the integration, the fascia and that little sub, sub loom and all that. Anyway, it just got to a point where I was like, I, I don't really want to keep going down that road with the car and it's not the best daily being on coilovers and 19s and stuff around here on these roads. You've probably heard us talk about it in the, through the whole tunnel build. Our roads are cooked. They're so cooked. And doing the daily daycare drop and stuff like that for my, my son, it's just not the ideal daily. It is fun and I like it, but it's just not ideal. Not to mention that uh, obviously once it's cammed and finished and we've done what we want to do to it, for someone else that is in a position where they can do the cosmetic stuff a little bit easier than we can, it's probably still a pretty good buy to them and I can move it on for probably a fair bit of money in today's market. Uh, and 
I was looking around for something that was a better daily, a more ideal thing to, to daily drive. Uh, and this thing popped up and it was on the way to roll racing last night. So we just dropped in to have a look at it. Uh, and it's clean and you're about to see what it's gonna be. But the advantage is that I should be able to sell the Stato for a lot more than I'm paying for this car and should end up better off for the whole ordeal. Plus, get into a new daily to do something cool with. So we'll go, we'll go show you what we're on about. See if you can tell just from the inside, eh? Hey? Look familiar to anybody? Huh? <laughs> oh, what a spot. Beautiful spot. And what a bloody car. Look at it, guys. How bloody beautiful is she? It's an AU Falcon. Not just any AU Falcon. It's an AU Falcon wagon. And it's not just any Falcon wagon. It's a Fairmont wagon. It's an AU Fairmont wagon. See the lovely wood grain, power, everything. Oh, she is squeaky clean. So you never guess it, guys. It's just really just a, a fairy tale how this came about. So just what everyone dreams of. One lady owner. Lady owners recently had to go into care. Um, and, you know, the car needed to be moved on. And it is straight as a die. There is like, <laughs> there's hardly a mark on the damn thing for what it is. It's just dead straight. The paint's freaking wicked. We got ourselves a color coded bull bar. It's just, and it's a Fairmont, and it's a wagon, you know, roof racks, weather shields, color-coded bull bar, we've got a tow bar, but I do still have um, my heavy-duty tow bar off the silver BA wagon that I used to daily, so for anyone that's fairly new here, for the longest time, obviously, sinking all of my money into the channel and the business and everything else, and still drifting at the time before my son was born and stuff, I bought just a thousand dollar BA Falcon wagon as a tow car and I maintain to this day and I'll probably die on that hill is that it was just probably the best tow car I've ever owned and I've owned a lot of pretty good tow cars even new four wheel drives and the BA Falcon wagon absolutely champed them all as far as a tow car goes so I always had a soft spot for these Falcon wagons this one being an AU just sort of tickled my fancy that much more just because of the cult following they've got but also because it's AU, it's not B series, there's no can. There's no can in the dash or anything like that. So, uh, you know, if I did, for whatever reason, may there be, want to put an aftermarket ECU in it at some point, who knows why I'd want to do that? I'm not sure. You can use your imagination, but a lot less screwing about in a car where there's no can integration to do that. Uh, so a lot simpler. I'm a huge fan of the single cams. I do like them a bit better than the Barras, to be honest. And yeah, so here we go. AU Fairmont wagon, straight as, clean as, tidy as heck. Just, and it's not even actually clean at the moment. Like obviously they've just sort of sold it as is. Um, it hasn't even like been fully detailed or anything, but just look how clean it is. Look how tidy the damn thing is. Like all of that needs to be cleaned up properly. But just look how tidy it is. Look how well kept it's been kept. It's just, it's just the sort of AU that dreams are made of. What do you reckon, Rex? No, you fat. It's an AU fat. Oh. That's it. It's not just a Falcon, it's a Fairmont. Was the AC cold? No, nah, it's not super cold. It definitely needs gas. Ah, okay, but it does work. It does work. Just, um, it's not as cold as it should be. Yeah, okay. But yeah, it, it is colder than the outside air, so it does at least <laughs> it's work. It's doing something. It's doing something. So this is about the worst of the whole car, is this wheel arch. This is just like a little bit of a scratch taken a little bit of a clip to this wheel arch somewhere but apart from that um for the age of the car and for what it is it is incredibly clean it is just unbelievable so anyway it was just an awesome find i couldn't pass it up so we've got the fairmont grill anyway it, it popped up and like i said guys i couldn't say no it was just too good of an opportunity the, the thing with clean cars like this is you can't even there's no amount of money that can make a car this clean it just has to be well kept and that's why they're so hard to find when they're this clean and i was just so stoked about this thing being so tidy um, whether i keep it or whether it turns into a giveaway or, or you know ideally i'd like to turbo it um just to give it a you know just a little bit more fun uh and then potentially be a, a giveaway car as a turbo but you know whether it was kept or whether it's a giveaway car doesn't matter the fact is that it was too clean for me not to take it i just couldn't say no it's too freaking wicked it's too sick I love it. I mean, either way you can see it. Like with the color-coded bull bar and everything, just imagine this thing just bumped to the hilt, built gearbox, turbo intake, 
600 odd horsepower sleeper, exactly how it looks, tidy as, how much fun would that be? Or imagine like a more mild turbo setup, maybe 400 horsepower, but still exactly as it looks that you could win for as little as $10. Either way, it was just too good not to say yes. I had, to, had to, I just had to have it. And in the meantime, even if it is only temporary, it'll make me the most popular person on TikTok because for whatever reason, well, you, you know, not for whatever reason, you can see it. It's a bloody AU Falcon, that's why. Anyway, guys, like I said, but it's not done with the tough stator yet. There's still a few things we want to do to it. Still a bit of content we want to make with it. But ultimately, as you can see, this is a bit more of a smarter choice for a daily driver. Um, something to chuck the young fella in, you know, not low, not on big wheels, a lot more suitable to our roads. I don't have to cringe every time I hit some rough rough roads and stuff like that. So it just made a lot of sense. Not to mention, obviously, as you guys know, and as I just said, I freaking love Falcon wagons. And an AU Fairmont wagon this clean, it just had to happen. It couldn't not happen. So that's what it's all about. Um, so we'll finish the state off, do what we want to do. We'll move it on. And after all of it, I should be quite a few dollars better off uh, for being in this thing as a daily. Uh, which is obviously a huge advantage because then I got some spare money to throw at it <laughs> in the means of potentially a Haltech and a turbo and a few other things. So we'll see how we go. But for now, cool new daily. I uh, just wanted to show you guys this thing and get some hype around it because I tell you what, it deserves it. It deserves the hype. So thanks for watching as it always, guys. like a falcon. If, yeah, I, I can't even describe the smell on the video, but you just, you, if you know, you know. <laughs> It's it's put, put the camera in there so they can smell it. It's E series and AU Falcons and Camrays of the 90s. They smell the same. Anyway, guys, that's a wrap. Just wanted to show it to you guys, give the hype up. Hopefully we'll start doing some stuff with this soon, but for now, I just got a few things I gotta sort out and then I'll be daily driving the damn thing, which I'm stoked about. So what a weird life that I've led to get to a point where I'm so excited about a 25-year-old Falcon wagon. But I'm just glad that. I'm definitely not the only one. <laughs> There's so many people out there that uh, share this excitement for these, these things. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, go check out the giveaway. You're running out of time. It's nearly done. We're nearly there. We're nearly finished up on it. So if you want your entries, get them now. Get them while they're hot. There's some new merch out. Don't forget to check it out. Don't miss out and be a loser. Make sure you get your tickets in. Possibly win yourself an aftermarket turbo HZJ80 series Land Cruiser. Ready for you to go and go touring. So thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one. Peace out. See you bye.